Hello everyone, I'm Fort Sepper and welcome back to Nightmare of the Snow. Alright, before I get started moving around, sorry if I sound a little eh or bleh and pooped because <laughs> uh, I am getting me the cold. I'm feeling kind of sick and I might cough here and there, hopefully not, but or I might clear my throat, which I will try to cover up in uh, ed through editing, so hopefully you don't want to have to hear too much of it, so yeah. Um, so the last thing I did, uh, from what I remembered, I escaped the mansion, and I'm supposed to go take a shower, and uh, if I remember the bathroom should be downstairs, right? I forgot the music can be really loud. I, I don't mind, but at the same time I feel like this, whoa. <laughs> You gotta come. Oh, okay, she's moving on her own. Let's see. Well, at least I escaped from that on real. After this, I'm just gonna read some book and I'll forget everything about that shrine in no time. Sounds like a good idea. But I don't think it's over since we're still in the chapter zero. <laughs> Sounds like there's a lot more to go. So, you know, you take your time doing your shower and then. And I'm just gonna sit here, mind my own business. Whoa, what was that? Ouch. I think I accidentally scratched my eyes. Ooh, that is not good. I should check it on the mirror. Yes, please do. <laughs> that don't sound good, that sounds bad. Oh, I, I thought she was gonna move, that's my bad. Let's see. Okay, that should do it. <laughs> uh... Oof, 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 oof. I can't. That's a weird way to laugh, or that's a weird typey for laugh. Oof, 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 oof. Oh, okay. Maybe that's what it'll sound like. Never mind. Carry on. Huh? Is someone? Is someone there? On the mirror. What? Oh. Uh, whoa. <gasps> What's wrong? Ah. Uh... Why so scared? You're looking at yourself. <laughs> looking at yourself, that's that's great. But I'm pretty sure I ain't smiling. You're not me. What made you think like that? Look, I got short purple hair, purple eyes, and the same voice. Shut up, you're not me. You're just a reflection on the mirror. Of course, I'm your reflection. The mirror is just doing its job. Then you really are. Yep, I'm you. You are me. You know what makes us different? It's that I'm the one who resides deep inside this body. Meanwhile, you're uh, you are the outer one. What do you mean by that? I'm the outer one? You were just like a cage that kept me sealed, more or less. But keep this in your mind. There are no two of us. A cage? What? She's gone. I can get to read every deal, she said. Am I just hallucinating again? Probably so. Unless you haven't eaten anything. Well, maybe that would. I don't I wouldn't know. But we'll just pretend it didn't happen. Is that even possible? I don't know. Okay, so what do I do from here? Should I go talk to your parents? Probably so. Oh, Yuki. Say, what do you think about my katana? Um, ooh, I get to say what I want to say. It looks awesome, Dad. Or sorry, but it seems a little bit dull. I don't know what to say. I'll stick with the first one. <laughs> oh, of course. Do you want one for yourself? Sorry, Dad, I don't. <laughs> well, okay. Simple conversations. How about we talk to the Moama and see what she got to say? Oh, Yuki, you look so pale. You should rest now, okay? That's it. Nothing else. Well, fine. Probably that would be the next thing to do is just go back to the room and sleep. Am I right? Why is it? Why does it seem like there's something here that's in the way? That doesn't make sense. Why? Why? Why is that blocked all the time? I do not and will not understand that. All right. So should I sleep? I'm not feeling sleepy at all. Okay, then what else do I do? What else is there to do? Maybe I'm supposed to go outside. And I should save while I'm at it. 
my mirror. Looks like ice. Saving! Just in case. Alright. I really need to try not to, uh, mess up with these buttons. Not get confused. <laughs> Just like the other times. Alright, let's see if there's anything outside. Oh. Looks like there's the yes. It's Taiga. Hey, Yuki. Have you found my phone yet? Of course. Here, please don't lose it again next time, okay? Okay, I promise. You return Taiga's phone. Totally forgot about the phone. <laughs> Did something bad happen? Huh? Um, no. Nothing happened. Don't freaking lie to me. Your smile says it all. After all, we have known each other since we were a child. W what are you talking about? Nothing bad happened. Well, if you say so. I'll see you later at the party then. See ya. Adios. Or do I follow? <sighs> I'd probably be laughed at if I told him what happened. I better do some research about that mansion. After that, I'll recheck my luggage. Hokey dokey. Sounds like we got to do some research on the computers. Right? Or do we have any books? That will- okay, no. That's a no. Novel and school related stuff. Yeah. If it were me, I would rely on the interwebs. Right now, you could surf on the internet to see- Aha! Uh -huh, I knew it. Just as I suspected. You could surf on the internet to see if there's any information about Kirihara's mansion. This is, of course, an optional task. You could start by searching on the internet. You don't have to do this task, actually, but to improve your knowledge about ghost stories and urban legends, doing so is recommended. Well, then I kinda do have to do it, don't I? When you're done, interact with your wardrobe. Okie dokie. Is that- okay. I thought it was her doing it, but it's me. <laughs> I'm getting confused now. Okay, now, where do I start? Use the went- Wentoko search engine. Oh, it's supposed to be like Google. <laughs> Which keyword should I use to search? I'd start with the first one. The results are all about other mansions. Really? So how about that one? No results at all. Seriously? Right. Honor was bluish kimono. How about that one? The results are a lot, a lot of scary Unreal pictures. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> I regret using that keyword. Okay, so let's not try that. How about the Wikipedia? Wikipedia. <laughs> or Wikipedia. I'm assuming we could still say it the same way, right? Which page should I open? List of haunted places in Japan, urban legends in Japan part 1 and part 2. Let's start from the top. There's too many of them, but this one really caught my attention. Story time? The Himuro Mansion. In an area outside Tokyo, there lies a mansion in which it is said that seven people were murdered in a grisly manner. On the same property, there lie three detached residents that surround the mansion, all of which are rumored to have ties to the mansion's troubled past. It's said there is an underground network of tunnels that lay beneath the premises. But nobody knows who made these tunnels or what purpose they serve. Many inexplicable phenomena have been reported on occurring the property. On the property. Bloody handprints have been found splattered all over the walls. Spirits have been spotted on the premises, even in broad daylight. If you take a photo of a certain window, a young girl can be seen in the developed picture. A narrow stairway leads to an attic where a spirit sealed talisman is rumored to be locked away. Men have sought this talisman only to be found later with their bodies broken and rope marks around their wrists. These incidents have provoked fear in the people of Tokyo, and many people believe that those who live near this area will become cursed. The deaths of those seven people who were killed in the mansion are unexplained to this day. Snaps. Well, the mansion I've been in was the Kirihara mansion, not this one. Alright, sorry I keep clearing my throat. Eh, there's another one to read. Oh my. <laughs> That's a lot of stories. Let's see. Starting with the top, I guess. Hope you guys don't mind any of this. The Kuchisake Ana is one of the most famous urban legends in Japan. 
It is said that she is a woman who was mutilated by her husband and then returns as an unreal. People said that she appears at night as a beautiful woman that wears a mask. Children are the ones who usually encounter a Kuchisake Anna. If you meet her, she will ask you if she's pretty or not. If you say yes, she will take off her mask, which reveals her mouth that is slit from ear to ear. After that, she will ask the same question again. If the victim answers yes, the Unreal will slit the victim's mouth, just like her mouth. But if the victim's answer says no, he, she will be cut in half. In half. It is impossible to run away from a Kuchisake Ana, as she will instantly reappear in front of her victim, but some sources say that there is a way to escape from her. In 1979, around the Nagasaki Prefecture, Kuchisake Ana has been sighted in many places. This caused panic in many towns. Many schools are only allowing children to go home in groups escorted by their teachers. Even the police started to increase their patrols. That's very creepy. Well, this one is not related to the Kirihara Mansion. Teke Teke. I feel like I've heard that term before. Teke Teke is a name given to an onryo of a young schoolgirl who fell on the railway line and was cut in half by an oncoming train. Teke Teke travels by using her elbows while dragging her torso, making the Teke Teke sound. If an unlucky person encounters her, and that victim didn't run fast enough, she'll slice him or her in half using the scythe that she always carries. Eek. I think I'll start improving my running speed. <laughs> well, this one is not related to the Kirihara Mansion. What this one? Kashima Reiko is an unreal of a woman. Oh, is an unreal of woman, of a woman who died and lost her leg on a train track. Oh man. I think they missed a letter in there. <laughs> Sorry about that. She usually haunts bathroom and toilet stalls. If she encounters a person, she will ask where her legs are. Answering her question wrongly will result in having your legs ripped off by her. Another version of the legend said that instead of having your leg ripped off, she will instead break your legs by twisting them 360 degrees. The correct answer for her question is Mation, Mation Expressway. Huh. If she asks who told you about where her leg is, the answer is Kashima Reiko. After that, she will go and retrieve her legs. Okie dokie. Even if you know how to deal with the Onryo, it's still scary if you encounter them. Well, this one's not related to the Kirihara Mansion. Nope, not at all. Heyo Oni, Blue Demon. Now that's another familiar one. There's a mansion somewhere in Japan where people have been reported to be missing. Rumors said that they have been taken by a mysterious demon-like creature named Aeoni. Even though there's nothing that proves the existence of an Aeoni, many people have sighted them in a forest near the mansion. There's only one person who came back from that mansion, a middle school student with glasses. He told the media that the Aeoni are real, or they really exist. After that, the legend about the Aeoni is labeled as a true story. Until today, the mansion is left in mysteries. No one has ever visited the mansion again. Eek. This one seems familiar to me. Have I heard about it from somewhere? Probably. <laughs> Alright, that was part one, right? So let's check out part two. Which page should I open? Nuri Ona, the snake woman? Hmm. Nuri Ona is a name given to a yokai which resembles a snake with female human head. They are usually seen on shore washing their hairs. They usually lure the victim by pretending to be a drowned woman. Once the victim rescued the Nuri Ona, she will begin to constrict them and eventually suck their blood. People said that the Nuri Ona has a very beautiful face. This is one of the factors that will lure men to rescue them. In order to identify her, you'll have to look at the water surface. Nure Ona usually tricked their victim on the calm water. Okay, nothing to do with that. A yokai. Uh, this is not what I'm looking for. <laughs> Akamanto, the red cape. Hmm. Akamanto is a malicious spirit that haunts public and school toilets. Huh. He appears as a man that wears a red cape and a mask. 
It is said that he'll wear a mask in order to hide his extremely handsome face. <laughs> okay. If you enter the toilet stall which he haunts, he will ask you, which do you prefer, a red paper or a blue paper? If you answer the red paper, you will be slaughtered until your clothes are bloodstained, just like the red paper. If you answer the blue paper, you will be strangled to death until your face turns blue. Either way, you will be killed. Alright. If you entered any other color besides red and blue, you will be dragged or sent into the netherworld? Maybe nether. Another version of the legend said that you will be thrown into hell instead of the ne netherworld. The correct way to escape Akamanto's question is by answering no paper. I'm starting to feel like maybe these are important. For sure. Like maybe there's a possibility that I'm going to encounter these things if I were to return to the house or something. I should never use a public toilet again. Yep, Jufus. <laughs> well, this one is not related to the mansion. Alright, so there's two more. And I'm not sure there's going to be a lot of extra. There's a village somewhere in Japan where massive murder had occurred during the war. 33 people were massacred there. People said that the killer is a man carrying several guns and a katana. Until today, the identity of the killer is still enshrouded in mystery. They said the village was completely annihilated only in one night, where the killer massacred his victim one by one in a brutal way. The killer later burned the village with a Molotov. In 1976, a landslide buried the entire village. This caused the village to completely disappear. No one can find the village anymore. Damn. That's deep. Hmm, this one looks pretty weird. Why would someone massacre a village full of innocent people? Well, this one's not related to the mansion. Nobody mac -nopers. How about the Red Room? Probably not, huh? Alright, the Red Room Curse is an urban legend about a mysterious pop-up. What the? Oh, you're doing this thing again! I didn't get to read the first thing it said. The pop-up will be triggered when you watch a Flash movie titled The Red Room Curse. The Flash movie simply told you about two men seeking the mystery of the Red Room Curse. When they open the website where the pop-up should appear, it does start to pop out. The man who sits on the computer tries to close the pop-up, but the pop-up keeps appearing endlessly. Do you like? is the first message the man heard. After a few minutes of trying to close the pop-up, the next message was heard. Do you like red? Finally, a final message was heard. Do you like red room? And then suddenly, the room became dark. The man felt a presence behind him. That is the last thing he knew before the whole room suddenly became red. A bloody red one. On the next day, the man was found dead, mutilated with his whole room painted red in his blood. From that day on until now, no one has ever opened that website again. That's creepy to read at this time because uh, it's awfully dark in here. And uh, it's just dark. <laughs> <laughs> it's just creepy. It's really late, that's why. This is ridiculous. There's no way the Kirihara family has ever used the internet. The urban legend is pretty scary, though. Well, this one's not related either. Alrighty. That, that. Let's try this one. No way. What? I'm too shy to ask strangers. So much for having that option. Open Yahoo Answers. <laughs> There is no way someone would ask such a question on that side. You never know. Ah, I found one question about the family. See, there you go. Questions. Anyone know about the Kirihara family? And I didn't get to read what it said. I wonder if such an answer became the top one. Let me read that again because I didn't get to see what it said. Uh. Oh, come on. It cut off again. Alrighty, forget it. Well, I'll look somewhere else, I guess. I guess that's it, right? Oh yeah! I'm supposed to go to my wardrobe. My bad. About to drove, like, drive off somewhere else. <sighs> In the end, I couldn't find anything about that mansion. I guess I'll recheck my luggage again. Okie dokie. Checking once, checking twice, checking thrice. Checking... I don't know how you would say four times for that, but that's, that's as far as that's going. <laughs> Alright, I've checked everything again. Yuki, your friend is already waiting for you. Will you take your laptop along with you? <gasps> if I could do that then, 
I definitely should, don't you think? I think I'll bring my laptop. I'll be able to upload our farewell party pictures faster with it. Sounds like a fabulous idea. I didn't even know it was a laptop. I thought it was like a computer with a with a monitor and everything. Okay, I'm coming home. Or, I'm coming, Mom. <laughs> oh, no, I'm getting tongue-tied. No! <sighs> I was trying so hard not to. But, yes, it happens. End of chapter zero. Hey, We did it! Woo! And what now? <laughs> and so, Yugi went to the hotel where the farewell party will be held. Yet, she didn't know what's waiting for her next. Ooh, time to save! Yay! Double check, triple check, I can't break it. <laughs> cool. Chapter 1, Farewell Night. Yay! On to a new chapter. Whoa, what a snowstorm. I better enter the hotel quickly before I freeze to death. Yep, and before you get a cold. And how come I'm not moving any faster? I will never know. Ooh! Sounds lovely. Whoa, this hotel looks expensive. But why isn't... Why there isn't many people here? Maybe they're all wandering off? Oh! Snaps. Well, there's Taiga. Hey Yuki, nice to see you here. Taiga, has everyone arrived yet? Well, not everyone yet. Looks like they're having trouble with the traffic jams and the snowstorms. But at least you're here, so I... Well, well, well. Luke is trying to flirt with my beloved friend. Huh? Whoa! Who that? Hello there, sweetie. Let's just go and what the... What are you saying, Kayako? I'm just answering her question. I didn't get to read the first thing she said. Oh no you don't. If you want to flirt with her, try walking over my dead body first. Oh god, here they go again. You meanie. Worthless man. Damn. <laughs> She's cold. Fatty. Okay, never mind. There you going at it. What, are you blind? <laughs> well, if I'm blind, then you're deaf. <laughs> I think I'll have to stop them now. Yeah, I think you do. <laughs> Arguing intensifies. Arguing in 108 languages. Stop it, Taiga, or stop it, Ke Kayako? Kayako. I think I'm. I'm gonna say Kayako. Unless I'm wrong, just correct me. I think she started this first, right? Um, Kayako? I think you're misunderstanding. That's right, after all, I'm just answering her question. Oh, Yuki, I'm just trying to protect you. Stares at Taiga from this loser. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, you want me to repeat it? I'm just saying that you are a loser. Grr. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, that's, that's one way to interrupt the fight. So that, that works. Phone call? Hello? Hello, Taiga. Sorry, but we can't make it to the hotel today. So please tell the others who have arrived already. We should be able to reach you guys tomorrow. Bye. Let's fabulous. Well, I guess we're the only people who arrived at the hotel today. Oh, that's too bad. I hope the snowstorm will end soon. I can't stand them at all. Well, let's check in for now. We can't just stand here with our luggages forever. Alright then. Yugi, I'll see you at the receptionist. Okay. Science, science. And now to save that kind of promise. What's happening? Oh. <clears throat> right now, you're in the character introduction room. You can learn the main character's background story and their personality here. Cool. When you're done, you can return to the main game by exiting the room. Alrighty, I think I might do that in my spare time. But, uh, Arnett, I think now is a good time to just stop it from here and continue for another time. So, sorry there's been a lot of reading in this, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I was kind of curious myself, though, like, what the stories might say. And, uh, some of them <laughs> got me spooked. I kind of want to turn on the lights. <laughs> but yeah, uh, other than that, I'm going to save this for later. So thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>